first step will be to base coat with two coats of lime mocha. So using a roller, you're going to base coat with two coats of lime mocha. And this goes very, very fast. Okay. So you have one coat. I'm going to let the first coat to dry. And then I'm going to apply the second coat. So I am applying the second coat of lime mocha. And while that is um, wet, we're going to apply some... See what I did in here? I have some of this uh, black plum mixed with this um, lime mocha. And I'm going to make another color on top of this uh, lime mocha. And it's going to have some um, violet tone. And I'm going to put this in here on top of this. So black plum plus the light mocha and we're going to make uh, here a very interesting background and that's all we're going to do. We're not going to play too much with this. Let dry. I use a copier and trace the pattern onto a balloon paper and now I position the pattern on the canvas and attach some tapes and now I'm going to slip underneath the graphite paper. Uh, the darker side is going to be touching my surface and I'm going to use a stylus and I'm going to press lightly and trace the whole pattern so that it can be transferred to my canvas. you are going to apply the stamps. You're going to mix um, black plum with a tiny amount of light mocha and make a lighter version of the black plum. And we're going to use this to stamp our stamps. I'm going to put a tiny bit more of the light mocha because colors are dry, darker than what they look in here. So I'm going to put another drop of the light mocha. So I'm going to use this to stamp. I'm going to take a makeup wedge and I'm going to pounce this over my stamp. This is supposed to be a postcard, so I want to have some writings, but I also want to have some butterflies. So I found this, I um, believe it's a hero art stamp, and I'm going to put it in your supplies. Okay, so before this dries, we have to be very fast. We're going to stamp this. I'm going to position the stamp. And once you drop it, you cannot move it. I think it was not straight, but once you drop it, you cannot move it. Instead of using one of those uh, transparent um, blocks, I am using it as it comes from the package. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. If not, we can clean it. Okay, I think it's good. I'm going to leave it like that. Now I put another one in the top that is going to have postcard. 
before the stamps dry I want to disappear some of the edges so I'm going to take a tiny bit of the light mocha with the same mixture and I'm going to diffuse some of the edges no, I forgot to wet my sponge so you're going to wet your um, brush and you're going to take the same mixture with a tiny bit more of the light mocha and maybe make some of these disappear and I'm going to take now a tiny bit more of the black plum I'll show you black plum I'm gonna brush mix the black plum with that mixture and make a tiny bit more darker and I'm gonna use let's see dry time extender to help in the process so I'm gonna apply some dry time extender and I'm going to that was too much of the light mocha have to have the black plum plus the mixture and while this is you can use your fingers or you can use a paper towel I'm gonna use both my finger my paper towel to remove some I'm gonna do again the same thing on the on other place. Putting extender, uh, the mixture that we just created with a tiny bit more of the black plum, and you can use um, how do you say um, mop, or you can use your fingers, whatever is easier for you. I have to do this in two hours, so I'm using my fingers you can use whatever you prefer okay one more one more and we are going to bring some on this other side don't forget to put the extender because the extender is what's going to help it move in the piece okay so I don't want to completely cover these with this color so I'm gonna let it dry or dry with a blower because we have to do this in two hours I'm gonna put the postcard stamp and there are several postcard stamps in the market you can buy any or use one that you have or not put it at all Okay, so I'm putting this postcard stamp in here and I put the same mixture of the black plum plus the light mocha and there it goes. I'm going to make a tiny bit disappear this edge in here. If you put some of the light mocha you can make it disappear a tiny bit more. I don't like to have um, very distinctive edges so you can take your light mocha and play around with this I'm not gonna do it because we have to do this very very fast so play around and disappear some of the edges of your writing so that it's not that distinctive okay so I put all the colors in my palette so I can do this painting in two hours but you don't have to do it this fast Okay, I'm going to start with this one in here, and I'm going to start with Terra Coral, and I'm going to apply Terra Coral. And it is going to have the saffron yellow on the edge, on top of that Terra Coral is going to have saffron yellow and bright yellow. on this ash 
and then the terracotta is going to be mixed with the um, black plum on the other edge. This is only the first color. I'm going to go very fast because I have to do this very fast. But at home you don't have to go this fast. So I'm going to turn so I can go in there and put that uh, black plum in those edges with the terra coral plus black plum. And I want to see lines. Immediately, let me go, just let this dry for a minute, and then we can go and work on the second stage. I'm putting back this color because it's a tiny bit transparent and didn't take too well the black plump. Okay, so. This is my first stage. Okay, so let's go to the next petal. The next petal is going to have the saffron yellow. And we can put a tiny bit more saffron in there. And then the terracotta. And black plum plus terra coral. Just put in the first coat of color. Keep this with the yellow in here. And the yellow might be right now a tiny bit dirty. We're going to put another coat of yellow. Anyway, in this type of painting, I do not use any water. So if you clean your brush like I did now, you have to remove all the water from your brush. Okay. So we are going to now to go to this uh, tiny section in here. I'm going to start with the terracotta plus black plum. And then the top is going to have the saffron yellow with my dirty brush. We're continuing with this one, and this one is, I'm going to start with the bright yellow. I'm going to take bright yellow with a tiny bit of light mocha, because that bright yellow is, seems to be a tiny bit uh, transparent. And then, I'm wiping my brush with a paper towel, and going to the saffron, and putting saffron on the edges. I need to turn my piece. Oops, I went outside in there, and I hope it's dry, the, the, the section underneath. Okay, so now the next section is going to be the terra coral. And a tiny bit of the... Black Blum Terra Coral It's a yellow in between 
and black plum. Cleaning my brush, removing the water, going into the terracotta, and a tiny bit of lime mocha. In between, I'm going to put the saffron yellow. I need to put black plum plus terracotta in here. I need to take a tiny bit of dirty brush plus um, that saffron start um, shading that in there okay let's take the saffron in the back in here oops that was too much paint in the back in there and then um, terracotta with a tiny bit of the black plum in the next section maybe a tiny bit more of the black plum because it is behind this okay so far so good you need to be cleaning your brush and wiping the water because uh, it gets to um, it gets to dry and thirsty for water. Okay, this section is very dark, so I'm gonna start with the black plum. And black plum is very transparent, so I may need to put a tiny bit of the terracotta. Red coral, and you probably need a, a smaller brush, but I am trying to do this in two hours, so I'm gonna gonna clean the brush and go to a liner now. This is a number one round. I'm gonna use a number one round instead of the liner, and I'm gonna use um, the red coral with a tiny bit of the saffron yellow, and I'm gonna fill in this uh, border okay continue see if I can pull a tiny bit closer okay I'm gonna go to the next petal I'm gonna go to this one I'm still I'm using a number four a number four brush and a number one liner and I'm gonna take a uh, Black plum plus terracotta, more of the black plum, and paint in here, but then it gets darker on the lower section. Okay, then I start with the saffron and what we're gonna do when we finish this base coat stage we're going to dry it so that we can glaze it this is the saffron I'm putting the saffron first and then terra coral On the lower section in here, I'm going to blend with Terra Coral. I'm going to wipe my brush, go into the um, Black Plum. That was too dry, too much of the Black Plum, so I'm wiping my brush again. Need another paper towel. I have a paper towel, I'm going to blend this in here. I'm going to go to the Terra Coral. And blend that in there and 
gonna blend with the saffron and I don't want to overpower the saffron so you have to clean your brush so that you don't overpower the saffron when you're blending and I'm gonna use that color that I have left from blending in there and I'm gonna use it in here I'm moving color from one side of the canvas to the other just like that this is only the first stage. We're going to do a second stage. Let's move on. Let's take Terra Coral in here. That long. I'm going to take Black Plum. You can take Black Plum and Plantation Pine and make an even darker line. That's what we're gonna do because we have to use only 10 colors. If this is a challenge and I can use only 10 colors and I needed the, the plantation pine for the green areas so and I cannot bring another color so you mix colors. So if you take plant, black plum and you blend it with the plantation pine you get an even darker uh, color and you can use to shade for example in here you see this is a darker color um, and you're using the same paints okay so we'll do that later on the second stage but let's finish this let's move on to this one and I'm gonna leave my brush dirty and go into the terra coral. See if I can put here this very fast in here. Find the yellows the saffron and we can block the yellows there's a yellow in here with saffron and there's another one in here then we can block with um, terra coral the remainder of this petal you can use a bigger brush but see I it can, I'm gonna start putting uh, some black plum in there trying to do this very fast and if I start now changing brushes it's gonna take time okay so now gonna take black plum and shade on this side and I'm gonna take black plum plus and I probably need to use a liner let's use a liner the round brush of black plum plus plantation pine and make that darker color Okay, so this one is tricky and I forgot that we have to put a highlight. So light, light uh, mocha. And I put too much. So I'm going to have to clean part of that with the brush.
very strong highlight now I'm going to take the terra coral and blend I'm going to take a tiny bit of the um, black plum and make this uh, in here darker and make let it go down we have burg burgundy wine and I'm going to put a tiny bit of burgundy wine with the terra coral in here it's going to make it um, more vibrant we can take this a uh, tiny bit of this burgundy wine and also put it in this side okay let's take um, plantation pine plus black plum and make that very dark color and we're gonna put it in here and we probably need to use a round brush for that make sure you don't have any take plantation pine straight and um, black plum straight <coughs> sorry not terra coral you can even add some of the burnt umber to, um, to make this even darker and it has two sections to that two dark section we may need to put those twice and there's another one in here let's see and this is part of that petal in there so let's just put the um, saffron in here and terra coral Okay, so terra coral plus black plum. Then black plum. A smooth brush. It's easier to blend with other brushes. I'm going to take a number zero for that section. Black plum only for this section. Terracotta plus black plum wipe my brush go back to my number four and terracotta Uh, there was a yellow section in there and I didn't put it so let's put it on top saffron doesn't even show take some saffron plus bright yellow and that shows better okay moving on moving on let's take the light mocha plus terra coral and put it and put it in here and make it this lighter then wipe it and then go to terra coral Let me clean that. Put 
put the black plum back in there. And we need to put some black plum behind this. And then we wipe the brush. And blend that with terra coral. We have to put um, the black plum plus the plantation pine lines. Okay. So let's see. We are going to finish this in here that was part of the other petal. Let's take Terra Coral Plus Black Plum. More of the black plum. Let's bring some of the terra coral to the spero is too dark. Okay, that's better. However, we are going to do some um, we are going to do some glazing. So in the glazing we can fix anything. So let's continue. Going to this white extender a tiny bit in here. And it doesn't go there, there's a section of the record of plus black plum in here. And in there, a tiny bit more of the black plum. And terra coral. Blending with my dirty brush, this highlight in there. Okay, let's see. We are going to clean the brush and apply saffron yellow in this section in here and in this section in here. Saffron yellow. This was all the saffron yellow. It's a lot of saffron yellow. from yellow hmm. tiny bit confused in here we forgot our stuff from yellow on that side and 
and then there's um let's put black plum in here black plum let's put the lines so we don't lose them probably use another you should use another brush not this one trying to do this in a hurry it's a challenge for me because I don't I spend more time painting I don't normally this is a liner paint this fast any piece I like to enjoy what I'm painting and if I have a um, time frame it's hard to enjoy it because you have to follow that time frame so it is really a challenge okay so we are putting all these lines so that we know where they are in here Because if not, we might lose it, like in here. I cannot... what is in there. And there's an... and this is black plum. I'm using just black plum. that we can find this mm, okay there We're still putting black long lines. Black plum. If you put more concentration of color, it's going to be darker. You put less, it's going to be lighter. This yellow in there is a tiny bit too greenish for my taste and I will fix it but for now we're doing this section let's see so here here there's more but less for now 
Leave it like that. Let's go to the saffron yellow and fill this in with saffron yellow. Okay, then we have those three sections of saffron yellow on this one. Let's put a tiny bit of uh, bright yellow for saffron in there too. And let's put some of the terra coral. That's better. Okay, so terra coral. so much. Remember to have a paper towel so that you can wipe. Let's put terracotta in whatever is left in here. Okay, let's go to the black plum plus terra coral. Gonna take black plum plus saffron. Darken those two and this. Okay, let's take terra cloro with a tiny bit of black plum. This one in here, it is black plum. Oops. It's a tiny bit of terracotta, not too much. And let's clean this edge in there. Okay. Again, this one is the black plum plus terracotta. Saffron yellow in here. Let's put saffron plus terra coro in there. Okay, a tiny bit of saffron in here. We have two small sections to do, and then we're going to uh, dry it and go to our second stage. But well, before we do that, we're going to um, work on the leaves. Okay, I have a number zero and terra coral. and then black plum plus terra coral on the other section. Let's put some black plum in here. And let's leave it like that. We're gonna go now to the leaf. Base coating the leaf with light avocado 
and this is probably dying or um, drying already and taking plantation pine and shading at the same time and we can also shade with black plum plus plantation pine so I'm gonna do this Night avocado have to be done very fast. I want to make this video very sh short, so I'm going to base coat this side with night avocado and I'm going to return. Okay, so I base coated the leaf and I'm going to tell you what I used to base coat. Uh, the, the stem was base coated with light avocado plus bright yellow. Then, this lighter edge, and you see my base coat is not that um, full because, you know, I'm going to paint again um, with shadows and highlights. So, I this is light avocado, this section in here. Is light avocado. All this section is light avocado, and this section in here is light avocado. But you remember, I was showing you how to shade with uh, plantation pine in there. This section in here is plantation pine, plantation pine, and the lighter sections in here, this border and that border, it has light avocado plus a tiny bit of the. Uh, light mocha which is the we don't have white we have light mocha is our lightest color so that's what you're gonna use in the borders in here so base coat base coat your leaves and the stem and let it dry and what I'm gonna do now I'm going to dry it and I'm going to show you how to do the next step. Okay, before um, I play with the flower, I want to show you something that you can also do. Um, I'm going to take like mocha and I'm going to make like this is uh, the paper is broken in there. And I'm going to take a liner This is the light mocha I'm going to night mocha And then the liner with the plante uh, black plum. Let's blend black plum and light mocha a tiny bit and we can shade with the black plum you can take some of these um burn umber and put some tints also of burn umber on on here let me go back
here and there. Some burnt umber here and there. Okay, so where the flower is, you can bring attention to that area with some of the light. Okay, and again, I am here playing. We're supposed to be spending the time that we have left on the flower, so that's what we're going to do now. But I wanted to bring some of the light mocha in here next to the flower. Okay, stop playing and let's work on what we have to work. Since that we are missing some color in there, I'm just gonna put it um, Terra Coral and Black Plum. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, dry my piece completely and we're gonna return and we are going to play and finish putting what we're missing. Okay, this is the part that we're gonna call glazing our piece. This is where we're gonna put our final details. And this is dry time extender and what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply the dry time extender to your flower and a generous amount of these and then we're gonna, this is gonna help with the blending process. It's called dry time extender. It extends the time of blending. We're working with Americana paints and they dry real fast uh, but this helps keeping them a tiny bit um, longer uh, wet. So we're going to now start highlighting and shading. For example, we're going to take uh, white plus an, um, light mocha plus bright yellow and let's start um, giving highlights let's give highlights in here and I'm making lines. Maybe sometimes you can even put some of that yellow. Okay, in here. Notice that I am not putting it in everywhere. So just a section of the yellow, I am applying the highlights. And we're going to do this in stages, so you can dry it and go do it again, and that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to do several, several coats of, of highlights. So this is the yellow, so some highlight of yellow. Now I'm going to clean the brush and I am using extender so you clean the brush with water you have to remove the extender. So now I'm going to take the terra coral plus the lime mocha and make a lighter lighter of the terra coral and I'm going to also highlight with this terra coral.
So I'm highlighting. the yellow and the pink now I'm gonna clean that and now I'm gonna go to I clean the brush I dry the brush in a paper towel I dress it again with extender and I'm gonna go to black plum and I'm going to start shading with black plum gonna shade the bottom with black plum I'm shading with black plum let's shade in here black plum Let's shade in here. Let's shade in here. Let's shade in here. In here. Now I have to dry this so that I can put another coat on that and you can put as many coat as you need now I'm gonna while that is drying I'm gonna take make sure that the stem has extender and I'm gonna take that saffron yellow plus plantation pine and make a darker um, version of that green I am going to start shading underneath the stem and I'm going to shade on one of the sides of the stem like that now there's also a tiny tiny small shading on the other side Well, you have to leave an, an area of light in between. And if you cover everything, let's bring back that light in there. Now, let's make sure that we have extender on the leaves. And let's work on the leaves. Uh, for example, I can take black plum plus plantation pine. You remember that we made a darker color with that. And I can shade in here. And that was too much plantation, I mean, too much black plum because it's red. So go back to the plantation pine and put more of the green. And I am shading with plantation pine. I'll take a tiny bit of light avocado with that shading that I just created going in the same place in the palette and just taking a tiny bit of light avocado so that I can shade this other side I don't want it as dark okay so let's dry this well before we dry I'm gonna put some highlights 
So I'm going to take a light avocado plus mocha. Make sure that I have um, after I clean my brush I have to make sure that I have the extender back. Okay, and now I'm going to highlight a tiny bit in here. And blend that in there. And in here. Okay, I'm just going to uh, dry this so that I can do a second. Um, but this is what you're going to continue doing with your piece. Okay, I want to find a tiny bit that butterfly. So this is black plum. And the butterfly is in here. And what, what I want to do is just going to outline the outside edges and, and I'm going to put a tiny bit of the yellow on this butterfly. And that is going to bring some of the yellow to this area of the composition so that you can see that there is a butterfly in there. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the burnt umber with the extender because I want it very, very sheer. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of the burnt umber on the body and then I wanna put um, a small amount of the bright yellow Lost saffron and extender, and just apply a tiny amount of yellow in here. Not too much. Moving that yellow with the extender because I don't want it too concentrated. Maybe a tiny bit more of the saffron in here. And let's leave that alone. Maybe I can take a tiny bit of the terra coral with some um, of the extender, a small amount and bring a tiny bit to this edge. Okay, this is our light mocha, which is our lighter color. And we are going to start highlighting this piece. I'm going to put a tiny bit in here. I 
and a tiny beading here. Tiny beading here. Okay, this take again um, the black plum and shade again with the black plum a second time. I'm going to use a, a larger brush to do these floats because I am shading with floats and if you need to learn how to float you can visit our, uh, my website onlinepaintingschool.com and you're going to find a lot of videos on how to float. Okay, so I am floating the black plum in here. colors are getting dry so I may have to stop and get fresh paint as soon as I'm finished with this one so this is black plum Let me put fresh black plum. Okay, now I have fresh black plum. Much better. Okay, so now I'm going to find darker places and I think this is the last thing I'm going to do um, on the flower. Uh, find black plum plus plantation pine. And reinforce the darker areas and I don't need you to see that on camera but that's what I'm gonna do reinforce all the dark sections 
if you need to, mine they still show. And it's probably better if you do this without the extender. Standard ki kinds of disappear them. So I'm gonna dry it so that I can do that. So now I don't have the extender and I can take uh, certain areas and make them darker. For example, in here, because the extender kinds of also makes um, things lighter. So I'm darkening in here. I am going to darken in here. I want to darken this section behind here. And I want to darken this. And this in here. Tiny bit in here. Now I'm putting the white with no extender too. And that color is light mocha. So light mocha. Okay, one last thing that I'm going to do is burgundy wine, some things of burgundy wine again if you lost them, here and there, some areas that you want to be more vibrant. If you need to darken some of the edges of the yellow, you can use rose sienna, and that's gonna be, give you a darker version of yellow, but uh, not as it's not it's not gonna be as bad as using the I'm not in there as using the pink because the pink sometimes um, what it does is it dulls it down so the rose sienna will leave a tiny bit more vibrant the yellow if you shade the yellow sections with rose sienna and that was why I added that color in your 
instructions. So you can use raw sienna to shade the yellow sections. Add it extended to the leaf and one last shading on the leaf. So um, black plum plus plantation pine. And you can shade in here. Black plum plus plantation pine. And then another highlight. And I'm going to bring some of the yellow right stuff bright yellows plus light avocado. And let's put a tint of yellow in here. See, this one can also take a tint of yellow. Then, without cleaning my brush, I'm going into the uh, light mocha. Light avocado, bright yellow, sometimes you can take more of the bright yellow, and we're going to call this piece done. Um, Thank you for joining us. I hope you like it. Enjoy.